Hey guys, my name is Peter Jordan and I'm with R.O. Winston. I'm the Southeast Regional Fly Fishing Rep. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about the new Air 2 Max from Winston. These rods came out in the fall of 2023 and they're in fly shops now. We're gonna be talking about specifically the uh, rods that are gonna be nine weight and under. So that's nine, eight, seven, six. And what we're talking about is the fact that they're gonna come in a nine foot and an eight foot six model. The rod we're gonna concentrate on today more than anything else is gonna be the eight weight model. So we're gonna have the eight weight in the nine foot that you see here and in the eight foot six. And we're gonna talk about the differences in the rods, the different applications you might need for it, and then we'll walk you through the rest. One of the things that you can always count on with Winston is that Winston feel. And by that Winston feel, it can mean a bunch of different things, but for me more than anything else, the Winston feel is the amount of feedback I get in a rod. So when I'm casting, no matter where I'm at in the cast, the distance of my cast, or whatever else I may be faced with, I get a lot of feedback from the rod. Uh, sometimes we've thought about the Winston Feel as being a softer rod, and we don't have that in the Air 2 Max. This is a very quick, very crisp rod that has a very fast recovery. But when we're fishing in salt water, we want to have a rod that gives us a lot of feedback, gives us a lot of feel, because what we have is We've got a fish that's moving, we've got a boat that's moving, we've got winds, we've got everything's against us. So if I can concentrate fully on that fish and not so much worry about the cast, that's going to make my experience with my fly rod that much better. And it's going to make it so much easier for me to be an effective angler. So that's really when that Winston feel really comes in handy. All right, so coming up to the eight foot six, what we normally expect to see in these shorter rods is a really, 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 really stiff rod. And that's not what we get here. This rod is gonna be made to get into that tight cover, to get into the heavy stuff. And by doing that, what we've done is, and to throw an overweighted line. So what's happened is the tip of the rod was softened, but the recovery was sped up. And I know that sounds crazy, but what that's actually gonna mean is, as you load the rod, it's gonna bend more deeply going forward and coming back so that you get a lot more feedback and the rod's gonna load up much closer. And it's gonna naturally tighten your loop by being six inches shorter. But what we wanted to do was, in having that, to have a super fast recovery because if you have too soft of a tip, you won't have that ability to throw that overweighted line. And we know that when guys are in the jungle or fishing big streamers, or we're in heavy cover, <clears throat> very often we're going one weight up. Some people even go two weights up, depending on what you're doing. We wanted to make sure that this rod was able to handle lines from true to line weight up to two sizes. So that's pretty unique. But that being said, if you'll notice, even up close, it has very nice, even load. Now, the fact that I said we have a softer tip would normally denote the idea that we're not gonna have a good long game when the fact of the matter is, that's just simply not the case. It has an abundance of power that lets you send the line as far as you want to, but it will be a difference in your casting cadence. So this is also gonna allow for people with different casting strokes to enjoy the Air 2 Max. Let's say you have a more relaxed cadence or maybe you're more used to trout fishing, something a little bit softer. You might find the eight foot six to more, be more comfortable and by being uh, six inches shorter, it's gonna be a lighter in the hand rod. Now, the cool thing about this, and this is something I've stressed, is that with the eight foot six, it's gonna naturally tighten your loops because you're normally having that full swing of a nine foot rod. By taking off six inches, you're gonna have a much tighter loop. So keep that in mind when you're throwing a heavy weighted fly. What I like to say is, hey, let's give it a Belgian loop and come on over it'll give us everything we need. So understanding the difference of the mechanics of the cast are gonna be helpful too. I have to say, a place that I find this to be a real sweet spot though is, is when we're red fishing. Because that little bit softer tip lets me throw that heavier weighted fly and drop it right down on them. Bam, easy as pie. And turn that around here in Alabama where I'm at, we could be fishing the beautiful Delta that you see behind us and we wanna fish largemouth bass. Well, when we wanna do that, we wanna make that tight loop, get underneath tree limbs, and fire it in there. 
and this rod really gives us that in a really, really easy digest package. One of the things that I love about the new Winston Air 2 Max is we're gonna have the Seracoil guides all the way up and down the rod so that when we're putting our rods home in our river quivers or in our skiffs or whatever it may be, we don't have to worry about it so much. Or let's say you have a line that wraps around, you have a fish that runs real hard, you're not gonna pop that guide off. So that's a little bit of peace of mind and I really love that about it. Another thing I like is that beautiful real seat that's on the back down here. And just like every Winston, every Winston is gonna be custom feraled and individually numbered. So when you have that rod, uh, it's gonna be marked for you for a lifetime. And that's what's really great. You're not gonna run into a time limit. And also it's something you can pass down through, through the family and let your kids enjoy it as well. Going up from there, one of the things that makes this a really, really special, special rod and allows us to put a lot of pressure and make it a really great fish fighting tool is the way we built the rods. This actually has a triple scrim. The center scrim on this rod is fiberglass, so it gives us a tremendous amount of muscle and it can take a lot of abuse. The next scrim we're gonna see is boron. Now boron, for folks that don't know, is a combination of carbon fiber and tungsten. And this has a ridiculously stiff action. It is super stiff and it gives us that ample power we see in a Winston. So when you load up that Winston, just let it go, man. It'll do the rest of the work. That's what that boron is doing. It's kicking in that extra power. Think of it almost like a turbo. The final thing you're gonna see is that beautiful Winston green graphite that's gonna be iconic of every Winston rod across the board, making every green stick that special part of your arsenal.